Live at Barnes Jewish Hospital from Powerhouse Sky Zoom 4, new at five thousands of healthcare workers in long term care facilities anxiously awaiting the first shipments of a COVID 19 vaccine in St. Louis. Tonight, city, county, and Missouri state leaders are ensuring they're prepared. News 4's Emma Hogue spent the day gathering new information about its arrival. She's live from Barnes Jewish Hospital tonight. Emma. Sam, after a long 10 months, I'm told a vaccine should be in St. Louis sometime this week. Medical experts telling me those shipments should arrive in our area in the next few days. In the meantime, we're asking where they'll be stored, how many we're getting, and how soon you could get one. The intent then is, is to get the vaccine distributed and administered in a very short period of time. Uh, once it does arrive here. Dr. Alex Garza and thousands of other healthcare workers in St. Louis City and County are awaiting approval of the Pfizer vaccine. St. Louis County says it's ordered at least three of these ultra low temperature freezers to store the vaccine at 94 degrees below zero. Both areas say they're waiting on the state for further direction on distribution. To be fair to the state, uh, they don't know because we're not sure how much a vaccine is going to become available. And so they're working on their plans based on what they know from the national scenes. Here's what we do know. On a call late last week, Dr. Randall Williams, Missouri's Health and Human Services Director, confirmed the state will get 51,000 doses of Pfizer's vaccine between December 12th and 15th, assuming it gets approved. The week after, Missouri will get at least another 61,000 doses of Pfizer's and 125,000 doses of Moderna's vaccine. Vaccine. To start, they expect to have 20 distribution sites statewide. You have to have the capacity is stored at 94 degrees below zero. And you have to have the ability to vaccinate everybody you get a vaccine for in 10 days. Dr. Williams expects healthcare workers, including housekeepers and clergy, and those in long-term care facilities to be vaccinated in December or January. In February, the hope is to then vaccinate 3 million other essential workers statewide. Otherwise, healthy individuals will have to wait until spring. We fully expect by May 1st, we'll be moving to that. And, and that will involve very much uh, mass uh, vaccinations. Uh, that will be gymnasiums, drive through clinics, doctors, pharmacies. So we asked where those 20 distribution sites will be, but officials wouldn't tell us yet, citing security reasons. Today, I also reached out to the state for more information. They tell me they're still waiting on further direction from their federal partners. We, of course, will keep you updated as we get new details. But for now, reporting live near Barnes Jewish Hospital, Emma Hogue News 4.